city in uh, Cardiff. Cardiff. But around the same time, there was this by-election, 1966. Rather, yes. <laughs> well, I was, by then, by mid-62, 63, 64, I was getting involved with the Labour Party in Connecticut, the Ward Party. And I was also on the management committee as a representative of Kibnaithin in Kibnaithin. So I was involved only as a voting member in choosing the candidate. And the two main runners were Denzel Davis and William Priest Davis. By a mile, Denzel was incomparably better incomparably better in all sorts of ways you would care to imagine right but Gwilym had the vote he had the labor establishment in Cardiff he had the unions the miners union in particular two big unions in Carmarthen uh, constituency party the miners and the transport workers union he had all that he was shaking like a leaf Holding his papers, he was shaking like a leaf making his speech. And Denzel, being a barrister, was confident to think, anyway, they chose the wrong candidate. If they had chosen Denzel Davis, Gunnar Evers would not ever have been, and I would never have been there in 1970. That would, he was Kanun Elvet, Denzel was from Kanun Elvet. He was a local, look, I'm local in Kibnaithin, but he really was local to Kamarthen. Denzel, and I've said it many times, if Denzel had won, Gwynwar Evers would never have appeared. He would have been like he was in the 50s, and also ran in Aberdeer, in Merionel, narrowly missed. He would not have won against Denzel, but against this guy, because I campaigned with him, Gwynwar Priest Davis, nobody understood him. He was a North Walian with a very, very deep North Walian accent. The minders of Canadre and and Brian Heroin had no idea what this guy was all about. You know, he was talking in the streets. Nobody understood him. Nobody understood him. So they chose the wrong candidate, number one. And they also misled the people about Meg and Lloyd George, the Labour Party did. Now, we all know it's new inside the party, Megan O'Jones was dying of cancer. She should not have stood, and that's the other thing, she should not have stood in the general election of 65. Of 64, I mean. She should not have stood. Right? But, no, they hid all that. And eventually, within a few months in 65, she, end of 65, sometime, she died. So the people felt left out. She had the biggest majority in 64 that Labour's ever had in Carmarthen, 9,000. Big majority. So those two combined created a scene for Gwynwar that was ideal. Coupled with the economic situation was beginning to worsen. The government was facing problems. It was tailor-made as if it was by divine intervention. Somebody was on his side. Uh, but the biggest one that was on his side to make sure that Denzel wasn't the candidate. And how ironic all that could have been. If only Denzel had been chosen and I could have stood in Tanefe in 1970. Ah, uh, the, twist, the twist of fate. <laughs>